As you look back over the past year, um, what are you proud of as a legislator? And uh, what do you think the public should know about um, being a legislator or the process that goes on? Uh, well, <laughs> it's an interesting job at any time, but of course this year it's been made uh, far more interesting than normal because we basically had to drop almost everything we were doing and deal with the, the crisis with the pandemic and the resulting e economic crisis and the health crisis coming from that. We have one major goal. Uh, we have to pass a budget, which is something we norm normally do back in May, but the pandemic got in the way. And what we did do in May is pass a budget for one quarter. What can we do with what funds are remaining or any funds can be diverted because you know, they're either not doing the job or they've done the job. I think the responses we did make were good, but at the same time, we should learn what systems were not really set up to handle this pandemic and this crisis. In my committee, for example, I'm in the General Housing and Military Affairs Committee. So the middle word housing tells you it's a big part of what we deal with, we are really looking at the various programs about keeping people in housing, dealing better with the homeless because they got tremendously impacted uh, when the pandemic hit. And, and just how can we make housing more affordable in general? What do you think Vermont should be doing at this point in time? I guess both in terms of legislature, but also the public. The public should continue listening to the science. Let's continue doing what we should do to lessen the impact of this disease. And, and again, I think Vermonters are doing a terrific job. Let's just keep it up. Uh, I th also think the public, and again, I think we're doing a very good job of looking out for one another. And typically we do a pretty darn good job of that in Vermont. Vermont, let's do what we can to continue the good work we're doing and let's figure out the best way to come out of this pandemic so we're better off, we're better prepared, and people are in a better place. And that's a job of everybody. That's not just the government. That's not just the legislature. We all have to do that.